Hello, George. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we're gonna get started in, in, give us one minute and then we'll start. Okay, very good. Let's get started. All right, who's finished with the test? George, are you finished with the test? Yes, I do. Excellent. Uh, I did. Yes, I did. Right? Passed. Okay, uh, yes, I did. Gladys, did you finish the test? No, I, I, I'm starting the test. Okay, very good. So you have today and tomorrow. Uh, Wilbert, did you finish the test? Uh, Alex? Hello, Wilbert. Háblenos. No tenga miedo. Hello, teacher. Did you finish the test? Uh, I, I am I, I am working and that. Okay. Did you finish the section section one through five? Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're on the t you're doing the test now. Okay. Okay. Hey, Alex, how about you? And then finally we have Eric. Eric, where are you? I'm already finished. Finish? Yes. I. Yeah. I I did it. Okay. Entonces los dos ya terminaron. Eric and Alex are finished. Okay. Very good. So most people are finished. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, let me see. Uh, how many people do we have in our in our, in our class? Sabían que teníamos. Yo no sabía. Teníamos o tenemos todavía. Tenemos como 60 personas. Sabían eso? Bueno, son como 55. ¿Sabían eso? No, <ríe> Yo tampoco. Yo me sorprendí, eh, pero la mayoría los he visto. Muchos no los he visto. Okay. Aquí en la plataforma. So, eh, esta, no es mandatorio, pero aquí creo que es donde se, se aplica todo lo que han aprendido, ¿verdad? Ok. So, eh, let's go to a lesson that I have for you. Eh, I want to do, vamos a trabajar en esta página eh, y si ustedes quieren como ampliar un poquito más los temas, eh, la página esta se llama, ¿no? se llama Live Worksheets, LiveWorksheets.com. Okay. So you can go here to this page and you can, uh, you can put any topic you want, ok? Eh, dígame al, un tema, eh, Puede ser de este módulo, tal vez otro módulo que les gustaría practicar. Hagamos una cosa. Eh, go to Live Worksheets, cada uno. Go to Google. Ok. Go to Live Worksheets. .com. Les voy a poner esa página aquí en, en WhatsApp. If you want to go. So I want you to go there to that section. Okay. I want you to go to that section there. Okay. And what you're going to do, 
is that you you going to you're going to search whatever topic you want. So no es lo que yo diga, sino lo que ustedes quieren hacer. Okay? Uh, ¿Qué quieren practicar? Okay? Cada uno, por ejemplo, Eric, tal vez you want to practice pronouns. Uh, Pablo, maybe you want to practice the uh, present perfect. Um, you know, uh, Gladys, maybe you want to practice uh, los, do you remember the conditionals? Conditionales. Maybe you want to practice that. Okay. So I want you to go to that section. Okay. And vayan allí, encuentren una worksheet que quieran hacer. Le voy a dar dos minutos. Okay. Go. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir mi pantalla para que ustedes puedan buscar utilizar la suya. So they are like like a little games or yes, esas worksheets no tienen que bajarlas. Ustedes pueden escribir allí mismo en la worksheet eh, desde su teléfono o desde la computadora. So no es como oh. imprimir una worksheet. Eh, por eso se llama live worksheet. So you guys can do whatever whatever it is that you want. Okay. Cool. So encuentren un tema. Let me see. Eh, advanced topics, así como el nivel de ustedes, um, eh, se acuerdan todos los, los present continuous, future continuous, past continuous, todos los simples eh, tienen modos, los modos son eh, could, should, would. Otro tema también son las condicionales, conditionals. Esos son temas que deben de manejar ya. Gerunds. Muchos necesitan gerunds, infinitives, otro tema. Les voy a dar una lista de temas allí en WhatsApp. Let's see, uh, conditionals, uh, maybe modos, uh, verb tenses. Hay doce. 12 verb tenses. A gerunds, infinitives, okay, todos estos son temas que ya deberían de manejarlo bastante bien. All right, very good. So George, what did you find? Um, about cars. About cars. Sí, pero eso no es una, eso es un vocab, vocabulary. ¿Encontraste así como vocabulary about cars? Eh, encontré un, como test eh, de carros, acerca de carros. Ok, pero ¿cuáles son los temas que yo, yo he puesto allí? Yo, no. yo quiero que vean algún tema gramático. Okay. Si quieres hacer ese, está bien, pero hacerlo en, tu, en, en otro tiempo, hacerlo con el, cuando tengas tiempo libre. Eh, puedes hacer, ¿cuáles son algunos temas que vimos aquí? Vimos simple past, past perfect, present perfect, future perfect, todos los perfect los vimos en esta clase. Vimos conditionals, modos, gerunds, infinitives. So, ¿alguno de esos temas? Uh, Gladys, what did you find? Gladys? Um, yeah, I'm looking for the conditionals. Okay, so allí donde dice search, lo que vas a poner es, puedes poner conditionals, or puedes poner todos conditionals, all conditionals. Put all conditionals. And you should find a worksheet. Um, these are like like tests, right? 
Ya, yeah, son eh, hojas de trabajo, son worksheets, eh, like little quiz, eh, grammar, vocabulary. Ok. So quiero que encuentres uno con los conditionals. Wilbert, did you find one? Uh, I found teacher from the past simple terms. Ok, simple past. Yeah. Yeah. Or past, past perfect. Past simple past. Simple past, okay. Simple past. Yeah. You can you can practice that. No problem. Alex, what did you find? Present perfect. Present perfect. Okay, very good. Entonces puedes después del present perfect puedes hacer el future perfect. Y el past perfect. All right, very good. Eric, what did you find? A work worksheet that I have to choose either gerund, a gerund or infinity. Ah, very good. That's a very good one, Eric. Ese es muy bueno. Yeah. Para su nive el nivel donde tienen que estar ustedes, ese es muy importante. Eh, Pablo, what did you find? I found something about gerunds um, in infinity or, or with ing. I think. Okay, very good. Entonces, yeah. trabaja esa worksheet. Ese es un tema muy importante para este nivel. Ernest, what did you find? I found a worksheet related to present perfect versus past simple. Very good. Right? Ese es bien, bien difícil, ese tema advanced. Sarai, did you find a worksheet for you? And Jerome's Infinitives. Yes, very good. That's a very good topic. Stephanie, did you find a worksheet? Sorry, I I came into the class late. Okay, so no problem. I, so we it, were it, doing no problem. In WhatsApp, I put a link of a page que se llama live worksheets. The page live worksheet. So I want you to go to the page. Then I want you, Stephanie, to search for something that you want to do. Okay. Eh, que sea un tema que tú quieres de tu de interés. Grammar, for example, modals, conditionals, gerunds, infinitive, simple past, past perfect, future perfect, no sé. Lo que quiera ver. Pronouns. Okay. Carlos, what did you find? I'm still searching for that shit. Okay. ¿Qué tema está buscando? Well, nothing in particular. I just looking for something that that uh, takes my attention. Okay, pero eh, ahí donde dice search, pon el topic. Okay. Uh, for example, ¿cómo te sientes con los gerunds and infinitives? Yo creo que lo que más me cuesta es el past perfect. Okay, entonces busca past perfect. Okay. Alex, what did you find? Alex, creo que está teniendo problemas con el micrófono. Okay, very good. So, tomemos eh, esta primera mitad de la clase. Let's work on your exercise and we'll finish at uh, 2.30, and to, to 20, uh, 21.30, hora militar, T uh, 9.30. George, can you share your computer or your telephone? ¿Crees que puede? Yes, I can. Okay, share, let me see. Hey, very nice, very nice, George. I, I está. Past perfect tense, very good. So, siempre va a usar had, right? Todo van a tener had. Yes.
had already, and then that verb reach is a, a regular verb. So entonces a los regular verbs, to make it pass, you just have to add what? ED at the end. Uh-huh. If it's regular, right? But see, si, si it's irregular verb. Remember, you have to find the past participle. Very good, very good. Good job, George. Okay, very good. Gladys, are you there? Can you share your computer with us? Yes, but I haven't. <laughs> If you can, you go to Zoom, look at the button to share, and then you go back to the to the sheet uh, to the page. Okay. Si si te permite ahí por tu dispositivo, si no, pues eh, don't worry about it. But I just want to see. Is um in pantalla or share whiteboard? Eh, share. Creo que sería eh, pantalla, verdad? Y después para que después tú te vayas a sí pantalla. Share screen. Okay. Is it sharing? Oh, not yet. Ahí está, ahora sí. Very good. Now we now you can see that. What are you working on? Let's see view options. Uh, Tú estás en la worksheet, Gladys, ahorita. Estás en la worksheet? Okay, now I can see. Ahora sí. On the Okay. Very good. You're working on the conditionals. Mm. Okay, Pablo, what are you working on? Um, like uh, I I told you before, I'm working in gerunds. I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, perfect. Let me... Okay. This is the the worksheet that I, that I am working on it. Okay, very good. I was I was close to finish actually. Okay, looks good. Let me see number fifteen. Yeah. James denied breaking the window. Very good. Mm -hmm. They agreed to come to our house. What is that? Uh -huh. Number seventeen. I want to give up biting my nails. Very good. He would like to see Mr. Smith. Very good. We can't afford to buy a new, I think to buy. To buy, okay. Mm -hmm. I think maybe in the six, 
Um, 16 is it's coming, right? They agree to come. To come, to come. okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's see, it looks good, looks good. I miss going to the to the park with my grandpa. With my grandpa. Too. Very okay. good. Don't you enjoy playing? Yes. Correct. 24. She had decided to sell. Very good. 25. Have you finished blank your homework? To do your homework. Have you finished? No. Have you finished doing? Doing, mm -hmm. doing okay. Uh, where do you want to go? Yes, very good. I don't mind. Traveling. Very good. Please remember, bring your lunch to the trip. No, please remember. To, to bring. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please forgive my breaking your glass. See what I said? Mm -hmm. Yes, sounds sounds good. I would prefer staying. Staying. Okay. Yeah. That the last one it is not correct. Ah, I would prefer to stay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And well, I have just them. three more, three bad okay. answers. But but I think some sometimes I have problems in to in order to know which one I have to mm -hmm. to to choose. Okay. Te voy a dar un cuadro de referencia. Solo que I'm going to put it in WhatsApp. Porque no no sé qué otra forma te lo puedo mandar. But I'm okay. going to put I'm, it in in WhatsApp. Okay. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen if yes. you want. Okay. Um, Okay, entonces yo voy a compartir so that you can see my screen. I, I want to share this with you. Que esto te va a ayudar mucho. So let me just go to my, my book. Okay, let me open this book. Es un libro digital que tengo. But let me, uh, let me open it. And I'm going to take some pictures from here, del cuadro de referencia, and I'm going to send it to you. Because it has exactly those phrases. For example, esa frase, don't forget to, eh, I don't mind. Todas esas frases sigue un gerund o un infinitive. Okay. Entonces, eh, te voy a dar un cuadro, and you're going to be able to see. Uh, let's see, regular verbs. Okay. Aquí empieza, mira. Okay. Yo creo que puede ver, ¿verdad? En pantalla. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. Do you see this uh, here? It's, it starts here, this section. Um, verbs followed by gerunds. So, todos estos, these words, you have to follow with the ing. For example, um, eh, I don't mind. Aquí está esa frase que vimos en uno de los... Mm -hmm. I don't mind traveling. I don't mind walking. I don't mind doing my homework. So, siempre estas frases va, va a seguir un gerund. Expressions that can be followed by a gerund. So, these are expressions. We have to, this is why it's difficult because these are a, your vocabulary. Yeah. So, for example, um, 
I am excited no, no about. Que era de ella porque soy tan linda. And then you say about ING. Winning something, for example. Exactly. Ahí está. Uh, I am worried about. Yeah. Um, I am worried. I'm, I am worried about um, climb some mountain. Exactly. Ahí está. So these are followed by Jaren. So I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to you, okay? Ahorita no lo okay. Ya lo voy a hacer después que deje compartir because it's, it's difficult to do it right now. Um, then I have other ones right here. I have, pardon. I have other sections. These are verbs that are followed by uh, an infinitive. So esto van a tener un infinitive. Mm -hmm. I, I can't afford to pay for my bills. I want to ask you to give me your number. I can't wait to, like that. So these are going to be followed by gerund and then, I'm sorry, infinitive, igualmente estos, verbs followed by an infinitive. And these are adjectives that are followed by an infinitive. For example, I am afraid to go out at nighttime. I am angry. También hay otra frase que es, uh, you can use about. I am angry about. <laughs> right, so I'm going to send this to you, okay? <laughs> okay? And this is going to help you a lot. Thank you. All right, very good. Ok, ¿qué más? ¿Tiene preguntas alguien de lo que estamos haciendo? Worksheets, live worksheets. Ok, Carlos, did you find one for you? Yes. What are you working on? Um, about present, present perfect and past. Nice, nice. Okay. Can you share your screen? Okay. Hello. Just give me a minute. I, I don't know how to share the. No problem. Remember to go to Zoom and then open ahí en Zoom va a estar esa opción de share screen. Okay, very good. I can see your screen. I see your very good. This one. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo vas ahí? I think that I'm going. <laughs> I'm doing well. Okay, good. Okay, si quieres terminar y después check. Okay. What are you, number 18, right? You're, you're on number 18 right now. Well, uh, number la 12. 11. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Le voy a dar cinco minutos más, so you guys can work on the on the on the worksheets. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie, are you there? Do you want to share your screen? Hi. Um. Yeah. Just give me a minute. Um, the one that I wanted to try is the present perfect versus past simple because I get a little confused in this topic. Yes, yo también. <laughs> don't worry. Sometimes it's a little okay. difficult. Uh -huh. Ok, solamente que tener cuidado allí con la primera, because you're a present perfect 
uh, you have to use have. Ah, sorry. Um, si, estás, si estás hablando del past perfect, entonces sí. Yeah. I was looking for past perfect. I guess I, I'm uh, doing the wrong sheet. You're doing the wrong sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I ¿Ya hiciste perfect. una con eso, con ese tema? Uh, no. Okay. Go um, back. Go yeah. back to the, to the main. Ahí. Vamos a buscar una que, que sea con, con ese tema. Entonces, posiblemente vas a tener que poner los dos temas cuando, cuando estáis buscando. You're going to put past perfect and okay. simple past. Okay. Okay, this one I guess is the right. I can answer the form. I I don't remember real and fast. Okay. Okay, so then, ya vamos a regresar back to the meeting, but um, así como, como decía en ese, en ese worksheet que estabas trabajando, decía present perfect versus past mm -hmm. simple. You can put past ah, right. perfect. <laughs> past perfect. Versus okay. past simple. Versus simple past. En realidad es lo mismo. Past oh. simple, simple past. Present past and perfect. Okay. My dad. I don't understand this one. Mm, ahorita no puedo ver tu pantalla, pero si quieres compartirla. Sorry. Bueno, ve, veo ahorita, eh, no, la pantalla de Gladys, estoy viendo. Sí. Uh, yes, teacher, I wanted to ask you something. Yes, tell me. I don't know why it's wrong, the, the first one. Mm -hmm. If the are, restaurant are you, opens... Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If the restaurant opens... Eh, yo creo que allí dice B, entonces tienes que usar el verb to be. If the restaurant is open. 
Me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, then, uh, and the last one, the number six. We blank stay home if we not have any money. We, then I can start a will, right? We will stay home. Because this is the first condition, no? Ah, no. Uh, let me see, the first condition, no? In a will. Uh -huh. Usa yeah. will. Entonces, yeah, we will stay home. De hecho, eso mismo ahorita, Gladys, es lo que lo que voy a le voy a enseñar ahorita. Okay. Vamos a hacer una actividad con la conditional. All right, very good. Okay. So let's go back. Quiero que ahora Okay, everybody. All right, le dejo de tarea the worksheet for homework so that you can continue practicing in the things that you want. So maybe, uh, for example, yo hice una buena, con, creo que era con Pablo, que hice una buena practice about the condition, I mean, the, the gerunds and infinitives, okay? So if you guys want more to practice more, that is a great tool, okay? So quiero que regresen aquí a Zoom look at uh look at the screen look at zoom okay i want to share my computer with you in zoom and we're going to do an activity on the conditionals very good ¿Quién está conmigo? yes i am all right excellent so i am um, conditionals es, es un tema que va desde basic y sigue hasta avanzado because, um, as you're going to see, eh, eh, por, normalmente se enseña como intermedio. All right, so conditional zero. ¿Por qué le dicen zero? Because there is no change in the auxiliary verb or the modal verbs. No incluye ningún modal verbs. Los otros sí incluyen modal verbs. So we call it the zero condition. Okay. Now, what do we use it for? We use it for facts, things that are generally true, cosas científicamente comprobadas, that are very like uh, very common sense. Okay, for example, look at look at the example that I have there. If you stand in the rain, ¿cuál es el resultado? You get wet. Okay, so it's very simple, ¿verdad? Algo, algo que como la lógica, es como usar la La lógica y la ciencia es algo que todos sabemos que es verdad. Look at the second example. If you heat ice, it melts. Right? Si, si agarro una secadora y pongo un cubito de hielo allí, ¿qué va a pasar? It's going to melt. If you heat ice, it melts. Now look at the structure. I have present simple and present simple in both. There's no change, okay? Now let's go to the first conditional. The first conditional is present simple and then we have will or in forma negativa, won't, okay? So this is talking about future situations to predict the future. For example, if it rains, we will cancel the class or the trip. If it rains, we will cancel the trip, okay? If you study, you will pass the exam. Now, algo interesante, interesante de las conditionals is that you can change them. You can flip them. Gladys, can you give me an example? ¿Cómo yo cambiaría así? ¿Cómo le diera vuelta a esas conditionals? Mm, yeah. Mm. Will be, we will cancel the trip if it rains. Exactly, ahí está. We will cancel the trip if it rains. Now, eh, la, la palabra que tiene if, la parte de la, de la oración que tiene if, es la condicional. 
La segunda parte es el resultado. Okay. So you can say, if it rains, conditional, we will cancel the trip. O se puede dar vuelta también. Puedo poner la condición primero y después la, perdón, la causa primero y después la condición. If you study, you will pass the exam. Or I can flip it. You will pass the exam if you study. All right, very good. So I thought zero and first conditional. Second conditional. What do we use this for? Hypothetical or unlikely situations. This is something that probably will never, never happen. It's something like, uh, estoy soñando. Uh, estoy como uh, en la fantasía. If I won the lottery, I would travel a lot. ¿Cuáles son la, la, los chances que me voy a ganar la lotería? Casi cero, ¿verdad? If I won the lottery, I would travel. If they sold their, their house, they would be rich. Le puedo dar vuelta. I would travel a lot if I won the lottery. Now, notice, this has would. Aquí tengo que usar would. W-O-U-L-D. Um, and then the third conditional, the final conditional, is uh, to talk about things that I wish would change. For example, uh, como me estoy lamentando de, de algo que no hice. For example, if you had studied, you would have passed the exam. This is to talk about situations, imagining a different result in the future. If I hadn't been sick, I would have gone to the party. So, ¿qué tenemos aquí? Past perfect. Had study. Had been sick. Past perfect plus would and have. Esta estructura va junto. Would have in the past perfect. Okay? Now, ¿cuándo uso esta? Sí, en la vida real. Eh, maybe, for example, yo digo, man, si hubiera estudiado computación, ahorita tuviera mucho trabajo. <laughs> right? Like, maybe you're talking about, man, si hubiera estu estudiado aquella carrera, ahorita estuviera mi situación diferente. If I had studied computers, I would have a lot of work. Uh -huh. So, para eso se usa. Okay, so, vamos a hacer una actividad. You guys are ready? Okay. We're going to use the, the first conditional que tiene will. All right, para que sea fácil. So, for example, yo voy a empezar aquí la estructura. Let me give you an example of what we're going to do. Um, if I, let me see, present simple. If I go out today, I will buy some ice cream, okay? Now, yo voy a decir esto. Después alguien va a tomar esta parte, okay? Y va a empezar su conditional con esta parte. I will buy some ice cream if I have money. Yeah? Y después viene otro y va a tomar esta parte. If I have money, I will buy a car. <laughs> y después viene otro y va a tomar esa última parte and we're going to continue. Okay? All right? Okay. ¿Listos? I teach. Okay, so I'm going to start. Ya le tengo, le tengo que dar otra, sino para que piense. Okay, very good. So, let me see. The order. Uh, let me see how many people we have. Okay, le voy a dar la orden. ¿Cómo vamos a ir? George, you're going to go first. Wilbert. Eric. Pablo. Gladys. La orden que los estoy viendo. Hey, Gladys, te tengo dos veces. Ok. Really? <laughs> Tienes dos de positivo. Stephanie. 
Rosibel, Ernest, Carlos, and Alex. Okay? Very good. So, yo voy a escribir. And you guys are going to give it to me. Okay? So, I'm going to go first. Okay? If I get paid today, I will go shopping. Okay? Uh, George. Tienes que usar esta última estructura. Okay. I will go shopping if I I go to to the bank first. I don't know. The bank first. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now. Uh, Wilbert. Okay. Finish. If I go to the bank first. first. If I go to the bank first. I go to the bank first. No, if, if. If, if I go to the bank first. Uh, if, if I. No, no puedes usar if dos veces. Ya usaste if. Entonces, ¿qué vas a usar aquí, Eric? Uh, I will. Will, correct. Aquí está, mira. First conditional. Do you see? Yes. Will. Puedes usar will or won't. Okay. Ahí como tú quieras. Okay. If I go to the bank first, I, I will. will money. I will get money. <laughs> okay. okay. Get money. Very okay. good. <laughs> I will get money. Can see it. Uh, Eric. I will get money if Eric I will get money if my parents uh, give it to me okay uh, if my parents send it let me see I will get money if my parents Send, give it to me. Send. Okay. If my parents, eh, aquí lo voy a cambiar un poquito para que se entienda. If my parents give me the money, okay. Pablo, your turn. I I will have I will have the opportunity to buy a car. I will have the opportunity by no puedo ver for the screen by a car very good a car okay. uh, Gladys your turn I will have the opportunity to buy a car if If I work harder. If I work harder. Very good. Okay. Glad you let know. Stephanie, your turn. If I work harder. I will get a raise. I will get a raise. Okay. Very good. It's a Rosibel, your turn. I will get a raise. Rosibel, stay. Are you there? I work every day. I will get a raise. Aquí tiene que ir, ¿qué? If. If. I, I work. Every day. Every day. Very good. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, so, ahora viene Ernest. If I work every day, 
I will. I will get tired. I will get tired. <laughs> yes. All right, my like you guys. I know I know you guys are very tired. Okay, uh, Ernest, very good. Ahora sigue Carlos. I will get tired if I go to the gym. I go to the gym. Ahora viene Alex. Alex, no sé si tu micrófono sirve. Or maybe you yeah, want to. Yeah, I will try. If I go to the gym, I will have big muscles. All right. Very good. ¿Qué hicimos allí? First conditional. Right? ¿Qué es la que se usa más? Honestly, this is the one, this is the one that you're going to use the most. Okay? Now, can you guys do it? Now, ahora no voy a escribir yo. George, you're going to start. Después, by, después de ti va Wilbur, Eric, Pablo, Gladys, Stephanie, Rosibel, Ernest, Carlos, and Alex. George, you're going to go first. Okay, so escuchen. This is listening exercise. Uh, you go first, okay? Ahora no voy a escribir. Whatever you want to say. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Go, George. I have to to write, write it or no speaking only. Okay. Only speaking. Después de ti va Wilbur, so Wilbur, pay attention. Después va Eric, Pablo, Gladys, Stephanie, Rosibel, Ernest, Carlos, and Alex. George, you go first. If I go to the market. I, I will see. Mm, repeat, no está muy clara. If, if I go to the market. Go to the market, I will seek. I will seek. Guess I will seek. Enfermarse. Get sick. Uh, I will get sick. I will get sick. Ah, uh, okay, very good. If I go to the market, I will get sick. Wilbert. Okay. I will I will sick. I will get sick. Uh sorry. I will I will get sick if I if I have if I have a hospital. Mm, I will get sick if I have a hospital. No, it doesn't make sense. Eh, está diciendo, Maybe yo me voy a enfermar both. si tengo un hospital. No, ¿verdad? Eh? No, sí. Ok, George, can you repeat yours one more time? If, if I go to the market, I will get sick. Very good. Weber? Okay. I will get sick if I... If I have a head check? Mm. Head check? No. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, Eric, you want to go? Tomarla ahí donde, que, donde dejó George? Eric? Eric, hello? Eric, está con nosotros. Ya se durmió. Ok. Eh, George. Eh, Pablo, you're going to go. Ok. I will get sick if I am under the raining. Or the rain. Under the rain. I will yeah. get sick if I am under the rain. Ok. Gladys, your turn. Ok. If I under the rain, I will. I will. I will see the clouds. 
Okay, if I am under the rain, I will see the clouds. Very good, Stephanie. Okay. Um, if I see the clouds, I also see the stars. Okay, if I see the clouds, I will also see the stars. Okay, Rosiben? Rosiben, are you there? I will joy. No, como terminó usted, eh, Stephanie? Como terminó? Can you repeat yours, Stephanie, please? Um, if I see the clouds, also I will see the stars. Okay, so entonces, Rosibel, you have to start. I will see the stars if... If I see the sky. Okay, I will see the stars if I see the sky, okay? Uh, Ernest. Um, if I see the sky, I might find a cloud. <laughs> if I see the sky, I might find a cloud. Se quedaron todos allí en las nubes. Or I will see the sun. Okay, if I... Or I will see the dust from the Sahara Desert. Okay, so repeat it, repeat everything. If I see the sky, I will, the, I will see the dust from the Sahara Desert. Ah, very good, okay. And Alex, finish. We completed the finish, the last part. Uh, can you repeat the last part? Huh? If I see the skies, I will see the Sahara the, uh, dust from the Sahara Desert. If I see the sky, I will see the dust from the Sahara Desert. Alex? Okay, I will see the dust from the Sahara Desert if I go out from my house. Very good, I stand. Finish. Conditionals. All right, zero conditionals, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. All right, this is the one that we use the most, talking about future events. All right, excellent. Justo a tiempo, 10 o'clock, okay? All right, eh, ha sido un gusto estar aquí con ustedes, eh, poder compartir este tiempo con ustedes, enseñarles, eh, practicar con ustedes, aprender con ustedes, okay? So, muchas gracias. Eh, les queda pendiente el examen, la plataforma y el, y el proceso de inscripción. Ok. okay. All right. So continúen, sigan adelante. No sé qué, honestamente, cómo van a hacer los módulos, ¿verdad? No tenemos control sobre, sobre eso, pero los animo a, a continuar, sean autodidácticos, eh, pero también llevar ese inglés a comunicarse, que esa es el, el, la meta final. All right, very good. So I will see you, maybe. I don't know, pero si no nos vemos, pues un gusto, ¿verdad? Y continúen, una actitud positiva, continúen aprendiendo que esto les va a servir el resto de su vida. Thanks okay. for everything, teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Million thanks. Have Bye. Have a good night. Okay. Good night.